talking about Markov chains here. Now, Markov chains can get confusing if you jump into all the notation and things. So instead, we're going to look at an example, do the example, and then do the notation afterwards. In our example, there is a hypothetical town, two sports teams, the Aardvarks and the Broncos. At the moment, today, the town is 70% Aardvark fans and 30% Bronco fans. But every year, 10% of the Aardvark fans become Bronco fans. And every year, 15% of the Bronco fans become Aardvark fans. So they're swapping each year. Some amount of them are swapping each year. All right, let's focus on this first dot point because that's where we're going to get what's called our state vector from. The letter S to represent state vector, and this is the initial state, so state vector zero. Now that's going to be equal to, and I write in a matrix, I'm using the word vector and matrix here, it's a column matrix, which we can call a vector. All right, and A, B. Now it says 70% are aardvark fans, so that's 0.7 and B, 30% are Broncos fans. So this is our initial state. Now we don't really need this A and this B here, but we're gonna keep it because it keeps everything clear, what we're talking about. This is our initial state, 0 0.7 and 0 0.3. And now we're gonna determine something called the transition matrix. This is my transition matrix. A and B along the left, and A and B along the top. Now. It can be a little bit tricky here. Uh, sometimes you put some little notation here and here, here and here, but I'm gonna leave it as A and B and A and B, and we might add some notation afterwards. That's what I was talking about earlier where the notation gets sneaky. Okay, what am I putting in each of these? Let me put in a formula. At this stage, you might be really confused, don't worry. <clears throat> the probability that A given A the probability of A given B, the probability of B given A, the probability of B given B. Now, the first letter corresponds with this one. So this corresponds with this, this corresponds with that, and that corresponds with that. That's the first letter of each one. The second letter of each one corresponds with that, corresponds with that, corresponds with that, corresponds with that. Now, what, is, what does it mean? What's, what's going on here? Let's write it again. The way to interpret this is the probability that you will be an Aardvark fan given you were an Aardvark fan in the past. This is the probability that you will be an Aardvark fan given you were a Bronco fan in the past. This is the probability that you are now a Bronco fan given you were an Aardvark fan in the past. And this is the probability that you were are a Bronco fan given you were a Bronco fan in the past. Okay. Every year, 10% of Aardvark fans become Bronco fans. So that means that you started out as an Aardvark fan and you became a Bronco fan. You'll be a Bronco fan given you were an Aardvark fan in the past. So that is a probability of 0.2. One. Okay, what about this next bit? Every year, 15% of Broncos fans become Aardvark fans. So you were a Bronco fan and you became an Aardvark fan. 0 0.15. Probably that you are A given B. That's where this formula is coming from. A given B. B given A. That's where this one's coming from. Where am I getting these from? Because they're not in here. Well, Every year, 10% of Aardvark fans become Bronco fans. That tells me that every year, 90% of Aardvark fans stay Aardvark fans. So that means that if even you started out as an Aardvark fan, the probability that you'll stay an Aardvark fan is 0 0.9. And every year, 15% of Broncos fans become Aardvark fans. That means that 85% of Bronco fans stay Bronco fans. B given B. So that's 0 0.85. Okay, I have all of the tools now. I have a state vector, my initial vector, and I have my transition vector here. And we can do something really neat with these now. It's a super important formula. 
state one, so state after one year, is equal to the transition matrix times the initial state vector. So this formula, very, very important. Transition matrix, this is my initial state vector. Multiply them together. This right here. Now, what does that represent? Well, that represents the number of Aardvark supporters and the number of Bronco supporters, or sorry, the percentage of Aardvark and Bronco supporters after one year. So we started off with 70% of the town being Aardvark supporters and 30% being Broncos. We're now down a little bit when it comes to Aardvark supporters, down to 67.5%, and up when it comes to Bronco supporters, about 32.5%. Now, that doesn't feel very awesome, but there is something really good when we move on to the second year. Formula for the second year. The second year of supporters is equal to, or the percentage of supporters after two years, is equal to the transition matrix times the vector from the first year, S1, the one we just calculated. We could do that, but that means that if we want to find like S10, we're going to have to keep doing it over and over and over again. But we can replace S1 with a, with a different formula. S1 is equal to T times S0. So let's put that in there now. We can say that S2 is equal to T times S1, and S1 is equal to T times S0. T times T times S0. We can simplify that. We can say that S2 is equal to T squared times the initial matrix. This is nice because we don't have to figure out how many fans there are after the first year to figure out how many fans there are after the second year. We can just use this formula to jump straight to it. Matrix squared times the initial state vector and we'll know how many fans there are after the second year or percentage of fans. Here's my calculation there. The percentage of fans that are Aardvark fans is 65.62% and B is 34.37. Look at what's happening. We started off with 70% Aardvark fans, 30% um, Bronco fans. We got down to 67.5, 32.5, and now we're down to 65.62, 34.37. It looks like the Aardvarks are losing a share of fans. Let's see what happens after an extremely long period of time. All right, what if it was 10 years? 10 years, we wanted to know after 10 years, how, what's the proportion? We would do the transition matrix to the power of 10 times the initial state matrix. I guess we could probably write something a little more general at this point and instead say that SN, state N after N years, is equal to the transition matrix, if there's things ever going to work for me, to the power of N times the initial state matrix. But I said we were going to do it for 10 years, so I'm going to do it for 10 years. Matrix to the power of 10 times 0 0.7, 0 0.3, 60.56 Aardvark fans and 39.43 Bronco fans. Again, Aardvark fans are coming down. But if we look, we started at 70% Aardvark fans. We've come down to 65% after only one year. Then... Uh, sorry, after one year we came down to 67.5, after two years we came down to 65.6, but then it's taken 10 years to come down to 60.56. After, after a really, really long time, like 100 years. Now, unfortunately, my calculator can't handle 100 years, but let's look at like 20 years. 20 years, we're at 0 0.60031 and 0 0.39968. It felt like the aardvarks were going to just keep losing and losing and losing fans. But you can see that it's really starting to level off. After 10 years, it was 60.56 fans. After 20 years, it was 60.03. We're heading towards something called a steady state matrix. In fact, if I could convince my calculator to do an extremely large number like um, t to the 100, t to the 1000, what I'm going to get here is going to be equal to uh, 0 0.9, 0 0.15, 0 0.1, 0 0.85 to the power of a big number times 0 0.7 times 0 0.3. That answer is going to approach 0 0.6 and 0 0.4. And we call that S with our little asterisk down the bottom, 
the steady state. Okay, uh, that's 10 minutes. I think that's enough on Markov chains. You've seen lots of formulas that are really important here. You need to understand how you're creating your initial state vector and how you're putting these decimals in here. You need to know this formula if you want to know the first year, but the most important formula here is probably this one here. If you want to know the nth year, the transition matrix to the power of n times the initial vector. I'm going to make another video where I do like a bunch of examples of questions that you might see, but here's enough to get you started.